Hello world, welcome to my channel, Proteus Augustus. I'm an artist, scientist, and American constitutionist. Today is September 29th, 2022. A lot of stuff's going on. I wanted to address the fact that um, the election's coming up. And um, there's a lot going on that I hope people have been paying attention to. Because I certainly have. Um, but before I get to that, I want to talk about Colorado. Seeing as how I haven't voted in Colorado yet. But I got the uh, ballot thing. And um, I suppose I have to mail it in. I have to clarify that. But it's my understanding that they do mail-in voting in Colorado. They don't have polls. No. If that's the case, I mean, first of all, I think all mail-in voting, if it does happen, has to be consented to by the citizen, right? And to mandate it then infringes upon my right to cast a secret ballot. They have no right to know who I vote for. But when you do a mail-in ballot, you have to verify who you are, right? And on the same ballot, you're saying who you're voting for. Well, when I, I voted in other states and I went to the polls, I proved who I was, and they checked me off on a list and then gave me a paper ballot. I didn't have to put my name on the ballot. I just checked off who I voted for and I put it in the box or the machine or whatever. That's called a secret ballot, right? To take that away is unconstitutional, right? I mean, through the course of my education um, in law, I am constantly coming across all of these lapses in judgment that these politicians have, um, have taken advantage of. Um, I mean, if you keep a populace ignorant, they have no way of knowing they're getting screwed, right? Well, this is how I get myself in trouble, because I know the law, and I know what the Constitution stands for, and I don't need anybody to validate that for me, except if I need to take a suit into the court to make me whole. But then that's just a matter of law. Right? Doesn't matter who you are as a person. Right? <clears throat> but um, the more and more time goes on for me on this world, I find that this mass psychosis that keeps continuing, right, is um, only going to be our demise. And there's several of them. Um, it's one thing to have a core belief system of morality that is based on abstract thought, right, on how to live and why you should live that way that does not infringe upon other human beings, right? To me, that's not a cult. That's a philosophy. Now, technically, one of the definitions under the dictionary would be a cult, Right? The Catholic Church is a cult, all religions are cults. They're not governments, except for the theocracies. But that's why we call them theocracies, right? And the other day I was talking to this uh, young woman, and, um, <clears throat> you know, she, um, you know, I'm finding out there's lead in the water. <laughs> and, you know, so I've been filtering my water, trying to filter my water. It's only 22 cents. You know, they want two bucks for a gallon of water now at the store. <clears throat> You're better off just filtering the tap water, right? But maybe that's why some of the IQ is a little low around here. Everybody seems to be like Mr. Khan or Mrs. Uh, Grifter or whatever, right? They all think they are smart. They, uh, I come across people all the time that just think that they're just heads and shoulders above my intellect, let me tell you. <clears throat> and that's fine, I don't care. 
you know? I, I'm not gonna associate with people like that. But when they do it in such a way to infringe upon my rights, I have a problem, right? And so this voting is an infringement upon my right because if they for force me to put in a mail-in voting, a, a mail-in ballot, and do mail-in voting, then I then I don't have a secret ballot because I have to verify who I am, and then that someone another human being is gonna look at that to verify I, my signatures, and then they're gonna say who I voted for, and they're gonna know who I voted for, and they can do whatever they freaking want with it. That's why they need polls. That's why people need to show up, right? This mail-in balloting is unconstitutional as far as I'm concerned from that angle. The problem is a lot of lawyers mean well to protect the Constitution, but they don't take a holistic view. They don't do enough history. They don't do enough legislative research. A lot of these guys are like bad scientists, you know? They, they, they think that other people haven't thought about these things, right? Some of these people are so into themselves that they don't spend a whole lot of time looking into what other people thought, you know? They did it, you know, it's like some of these people um, come out of college that don't know anything, or these doctors that are mutilating children, right? And advising parents that it's the right thing to do to accommodate their schema, right? Um, you get people like that because you, all they gotta do is show up. You're giving them free money. You know, I mean, I wish I could have been an artist my whole life. I got all these objects I want to paint. I got all this stuff I want to write. I w I'm learning music right now. But I couldn't make a living at it. That had to be practical, right? Now it's my time to try to express myself the best way I can through my art, right? But I couldn't expect other people to accommodate me, you know, like the NEA or whatever. Right? That's another thing that needs to go. If somebody wants to be an artist, they'll find a way. Right? If somebody wants to be a doctor, they'll find a way. But it is in the but it's them that have to force it. You don't just serve it up on a platter, right? Because it takes integrity for these types of professions. I'm a retired chemist. I don't make meth and all this other stuff. It, I can make anything I want. Really, if I really wanted to, right? I mean, but but that's where the ethics come in. I mean, I went through a lot to get my degree, right? People made it hard on me. Nothing has come easy in my life, right? I paid off my degree, but then again, going back to my video on the student loans, hey, I get a fight for my constitutional freedoms, and in doing so, you know, give some clarity to the law, hopefully, and and, and um, help other citizens, right? Because they need to know this isn't right. These student loans aren't right. So anyways, every I just keep running into these things, right? And a lot of them are in democratic states. Not that Republican states don't do it. Right? But they're more reasonable. Right? They play fair more. Or I should say they're more fair. <laughs> the, de the Democratic Party, man, they're ruthless, man. They'll destroy you. They have no feelings whatsoever for anybody but the power of the party and the future of the world the way they want to see it. That's why they're thrown in with the Chinese. <clears throat> and all you got to think about all you guys have to think about this. All you ladies and gentlemen have to think about this when you vote. It's not a single issue. You know, like I, I have it. I'm 1% of the population and I think the whole society should change for me. That's unreasonable. Okay. And so just that alone, never mind who you think you are. You're being unreasonable to think that the whole world is going to change for you. That's another symptom of your psychosis, right? And these doctors are preying upon you.
right? The hex, right? I know this. I know this. I mean, anyways. Um, and then the other thing that people need to think about when they're voting is is the Democrats and who they're supporting, like Joe Biden. Now listen, here's a guy. I don't know any man that would get up in public or even say to a small group of other men, right? I don't know anybody like that that would get up and say, yeah, she was 12 and I was 30, even in joking, even in jest. I don't know anybody that would freaking say that. And he's the president of the United States and there's no uproar? I mean, shit, if I was a man in position, my posture would be very firm. This guy's gotta be thrown out on his freaking ass as fast as possible. And he's got, you know, one thing people don't understand is when some people suffer dementia, whether it's, um, you know, well, one of the symptoms of Alzheimer's, it's only one form of dementia, but um, the thing is, is that what happens is they lose their attention span within, you know, the recent time frame, right? So when they're losing their abil ability to mem remember stuff, it starts to degrade and go back in time. It's almost like they're in a, time machine going backwards in their mind, right? That's why they don't remember their children because they think they're a children. They don't remember after, they don't, they, they, don't, they don't remember anything, you know, prior to them giving birth to these people. They don't know who they are, but they think they're a children. And they say things sometimes that come out of their mind that they have no control over. I'm telling you, she was 12 and I was 30. <laughs> Wow, this guy is fu I told you, I told you that Hunter Biden was probably preyed upon, right? Maybe even if it wasn't by him, the people that his father associates with, right? All of this um, type of sex life that they're, they're pushing, right? That I'm just interested to see what Charles is going to do with Andrew. <laughs> And uh, Harry, to be honest with you, I want to see what kind of man he is, right? Is his mother's gun? Let's see what kind of fucking man he is. What's he going to do with freaking um, Trudeau too, right? He's supposed to be the head of state, right? Right? He could tell Trudeau, you know, it's time for you to go, right? Why didn't the queen do that? Right? Is he all in on this? what his brother Andrew was doing, what young ladies, because all this nonsense about, you know, um, mutilating children because they think they're a different sex and that's the justification, justification of an immature mind, you know? Uh, I, 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 I'm not getting that, you know? And say what you want about a lot of these people on YouTube, you know, like they're far right and shit. I'm an independent, you know, I'm not a Democrat, I'm not a Republican, I'm just, a, I'm a free thinker, man. I'm not, listen, th th these people at the top have just got really freaking weird, man, you know, and their offspring's probably even worse than them, right? That's why the United States of America was formed. Can't rely on some king's child, and you know what's if he's a moron, and then he's got. Listen, <laughs> that's why we have the Constitution of the United States, and that's the other thing people need to consider when they're voting. Right, it's to protect the Constitution, but means to protect us all. Right, financial institutions and politicians should not be able to strike a deal to take away my right to declare bankruptcy under the Constitution, and which also violates my right to sue, to be made whole, right? Because under the 14th Amendment, I got, I got, I'm a, I have a legal birthright, okay, under the Constitution to be treated equally under the law, right? I mean, we're not talking about not pursuing a misdemeanor or something. We're talking about you know, if I bring something to court, 
right, to be made whole. They can't just say, well, we don't like you because uh, you're a pastor or whatever, right? We don't like you because you're not a lawyer. Who the hell are you to bring this paper to me? I'm a judge. You're wasting my time. What? No, no, no. That's not America. Right? It's not. So anyways, um, the voting's coming up. And um, we could be at war soon. And that's another thing you got to ask yourself. Right? It's who's going to lead this country into battle. Joe Biden? <laughs> hey, listen, he might be giving away the piggy bank, right, to other countries and screwing the people here, right? How are we going to fix this? I mean, the vote is coming up in November, right? If you keep voting for the same thing, and you know, some Democrats might be really good people, but the party itself is decrepit. It's old, it's decrepit, and it cannot protect us from our enemies. It will not protect us from the migrants coming up from the border. What is not a war for? If it's not to protect your culture, your land, your family, you just let the people come in and take shit from you. Rob you, create all kinds of... What are they going to do? I mean, listen, if these people have families, well, that may be, a, you know, a good thing, right? I mean, at least it's not a good thing that they broke the law, but at least they won't be rolling around in the street. But a lot of them might be criminals, right? I mean, two million freaking people that just came into this country, right, that are going to want to take from all of us. Right? All of us that built this country. Right? That's not selfishness. It was done with blood and sweat. These guys at the top didn't do fucking shit, most of them. Right? And if they did, then they and they and they're turning their backs on this country. They're turning their backs on the people. Right? We are the country, not you. Right? You're gonna come and go. We have succession under the constitution. That's why we only give them four years, and that's why we can throw them out. And that's why you gotta vote for Republicans, right? I don't, I'm an independent, I'm voting Republican. I have no choice. The Democrats have nothing to offer but death and misery and, and, and destruction, you know? Um, it's just, it, I just can't vote for that in any way, shape, or form. So, think about that. Until next time, think free and be free.